By 1472, at the age of 20, Leonardo qualified as a master in the Guild of St. Luke, the Guild of Artists and Doctors of Medicine, but even after his father set him up in his own workshop, his attachment to Verrocchio was such that he continued to collaborate and live with him. Leonardo's earliest known dated work is a 1473 pen and ink drawing of the Arno Valley, see below. According to Vasari, the young Leonardo was the first to suggest making the Arno River a navigable channel between Florence and Pisa. In January 1478, Leonardo received an independent commission to paint an altarpiece for the Chapel of St. Bernard in the Palazzo Vecchio, an indication of his independence from Verrocchio's studio. An anonymous early biographer, known as Anonimo Gadiano, claims that in 1480 Leonardo was living with the Medici and often worked in the garden of the Piazza San Marco, Florence, where a Neoplatonic Academy of Artists, poets and philosophers organized by the Medici met. In March 1481, he received a commission from the monks of San Donato and Scopetto for the adoration of the Magi. Neither of these initial commissions were completed, being abandoned when Leonardo went to offer his services to Duke of Milan Ludovico Sforza. Leonardo wrote Sforza a letter which described the diverse things that he could achieve in the fields of engineering and weapon design, and mentioned that he could paint. He brought with him a silver string instrument, either a lute or lyre, in the form of a horse's head. With Alberti, Leonardo visited the home of the Medici and through them came to know the older humanist philosophers of whom Marsiglio Ficino, proponent of Neoplatonism, Cristoforo Londino, writer of commentaries on classical writings, and John Argyropoulos, teacher of Greek and translator of Aristotle were the foremost. Also associated with the Platonic Academy of the Medici was Leonardo's contemporary, the brilliant young poet and philosopher Pico della Mirandola. In 1482, Leonardo was sent as an ambassador by Lorenzo de' Medici to Ludovico il Moro, who ruled Milan between 1479 and 1499. Leonardo worked in Milan from 1482 until 1499. He was commissioned to paint the Virgin of the Rocks for the Confraternity of the Immaculate Conception and the Last Supper for the Monastery of Santa Maria della Grazie. In the spring of 1485, Leonardo traveled to Hungary, on behalf of Sforza, to meet King Matthias Corvinus, and was commissioned by him to paint a Madonna. In 1490 he was called as a consultant, together with Francesco di Giorgio Martini, for the building site of the Cathedral of Pavia and was struck by the equestrian statue of Regisol, of which he left a sketch. Leonardo was employed on many other projects for Sforza, such as preparation of floats and pageants for special occasions, a drawing of, and wooden model for, a competition to design the cupola for Milan Cathedral, and a model for a huge equestrian monument to Ludovico's predecessor Francesco Sforza. This would have surpassed in size the only two large equestrian statues of the Renaissance, Donatello's Gattamelata in Padua and Verrocchio's Bartolomeo Colleoni in Venice, and became known as the Gran Cavallo. Leonardo completed a model for the horse and made detailed plans for its casting, but in November 1494, Ludovico gave the medal to his brother-in-law to be used for a cannon to defend the city from Charles VIII of France. Contemporary correspondence records that Leonardo and his assistants were commissioned by the Duke of Milan to paint the Sala della Asse in the Sforza castle. The decoration was completed in 1498. The project became a trompe l'oeil decoration that made the Great Hall appear to be a pergola created by the interwoven limbs of sixteen mulberry trees, whose canopy included an intricate labyrinth of leaves and knots on the ceiling.